All right. Everybody ready? It is 6.30 p.m., so I will now call this regular meeting of the Coralville City Council to order. It is July 11th, 2023. Could I have the roll call, please? Councilmember Knudsen? Here. Gross? Here. Quinn? Present. Jones? Here. Goodrich? Here. All council members are present, as is the mayor, the city clerk, the city attorney, the city administrator, and several other staff in the audience. I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Moved Second. by Jones, seconded by Goodrich. All in favor, please say aye. 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 The agenda is approved. On to item number four, community comments. This is a time for community members to speak to us about items that aren't on the agenda or items that are on the agenda but are not subject to a public hearing. Each speaker will have five minutes, and we do reserve the right to adjust both the individual speaking time and the overall comment time based on the number of speakers or any accommodations that a speaker might need. So does anyone wish to speak to us this evening? Okay, then we will move on to item number five. This is the second reading of an ordinance for a parcel located at Acorn Drive and James Street, and this is adjacent to Clear Creek 7th subdivision. This is for a land use amendment for a, an 11.26 acre parcel located at the west end of Acorn Drive and James Street and adjacent to Jacobs Clear Creek 7th subdivision. Could I have the ordinance, please? Ordinance number 2023-1009, an ordinance amending the Corville Community Plan to reflect certain property generally known as a portion of the southwest quarter of the southwest quarter of section 36 and a portion of the northwest quarter of the northwest quarter of section 1, both of Township 80 North Range 7 West of the 5th Principal Meridian, Coralville, Johnson County, Iowa, to be designated industrial use in place of regional commercial use, introduced for adoption, second consideration by Council Member Knudsen, Seconded by. Second. Second. Seconded by Gross. Any questions, comments, or discussion on this item? Okay. Roll call, please. Councilmember Gross. Aye. Wynn. Aye. Jones. Aye. Goodrich. Aye. Knudsen. Aye. Ordinance passes. It's second consideration. All ayes. Item number six: Forever Green Heights. This will approve the remaining portion of several. Uh, infrastructure improvements uh, on the uh, for, uh, on the Forever Green Forever Green Heights Phase One Part One project. Could I have the resolution, please? Resolution accepting public improvements constructed on Forever Green Heights Phase One Part One, Coralville, Iowa, introduced for adoption by Council Member Gross, seconded by. Second. Seconded by Win. Any questions or comments on this item? Okay, could I have the roll, please? Council Member Wynn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Gross? Aye. Resolution is approved, all ayes. Item B, we have a resolution that would accept public improvements constructed on Forever Green Heights Phase 2, Part 1. Could I have the resolution, please? Resolution accepting public improvements constructed on Forever Green Heights Phase 2, Part 1, Coralville, Iowa. Introduced for adoption by Council Member Wynn, seconded by. Second. Second. Seconded by Jones. Any questions, comments, or discussion on this item? All right. Roll call, please. Council Member Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. Gross? Aye. Wynn? Aye. Resolution is approved, all ayes. Item number seven, utility resilience project. This supplemental agreement is for ongoing development of the FEMA BRIC application for FY 2023 submittal and is not to exceed $50,000. Could I have the resolution? Resolution approving supplemental agreement number two with Stanley Consultants Inc. to provide continued assistance the utility resilience project. Introduced to adoption by Council Member Jones, seconded by. 
Second. Seconded by Gross. Questions or comments? So, so this, there's just more work that's needed. This is, well, this just continues to get more work done oh, before okay. um, we find out because we have enough money left in that original grant to continue okay. to yeah. develop out the plans. All right. Any other questions? Okay. Roll call, please. Councilmember Knudsen? Aye. Gross? Aye. Wynn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Resolution is approved, all ayes. Item number eight, uh, commission appointment. I would entertain a motion to concur with the recommendation of appointing Eric Gissendanner of 2861 Spring Rose Circle, apartment 112, to the partial term of the Parks and Rec Commission. The term will expire on December 31st, 2025. So I would entertain that motion. So moved. Moved by Gross. Could I get a second? Second. Seconded by Wynn. All in favor, please say aye. 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 The appointment is approved. Okay. On to item number nine. I would entertain a motion to approve the consent calendar as presented. Madam Mayor, I would like to ask council to consider motion to approve the consent calendar as presented, A to B. Moved by Huynh. Could I get a second? Second. S seconded by Jones. Could I have the roll call, please? Councilmember Gross? Aye. Wynn? Aye. Jones? Aye. Goodrich? Aye. Knudsen? Aye. The consent calendar is approved, all ayes. Item number 10, city administrator's report. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Um, just a couple quick items. Uh, first of all, I would just like to note and thank uh, Mike Funky for his 33 years of service to the city of Coralville. Um, the uh, most recent pass, he started out at the Parks and Recreation Department and then ended up as our Human Resource um, Director. And Mike um, officially retired as of July 1st, so he will be missed. Um, and um, thank him for all of that he has done in many, many different ways. Um, also, just like to thank all the volunteers for Fourth Fest and everything that they put in. You know, we have a lot of great volunteers that do um, the help with the parade and all of the events, and just thank them um, and all of our businesses that help sponsor and residents that help um, financially sponsor and do other things for the event as well. Um, Ragbri is quickly coming upon us, July 28th. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunities to volunteer, and so encourage people to go out to CorvilleRagbright.com and um, see all of the different um, things that you could do to help out. Okay, thank you. Mayor's report, I don't have a lot this evening. Just wanted to say thank you to everyone that helped with Fourth Fest. It was a fantastic event. Loved seeing all of the new events that we were having in um, conjunction with the sesquicentennial celebration, the tractor pull was really fun and uh, we had a lot of people asking if we would bring that back for another year. Same thing with the big community picnic that we had, really special. Thank you to the police and fire for helping us prepare the, uh, that meal, and thank you to all of the sponsors who helped provide uh, the food for that. Did we get a count? Uh, there was at least a 1,000, right? We served at least a 1,000 oh, meals at that. Um, it was minute. almost 2,000. Almost 2,000. Yes. Just short yeah, of 2,000. Because 000. the condiments never ran out. Oh, <laughs> so because <laughs> this was the condiments yeah. man yeah. down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who was just saying, kept the relish keep, yeah. yeah, really, and, and, and you know what? We appreciate you and your dedication to keeping those condiments stocked. Thank you, so Madam thank Mayor. You. Appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe I can get a proclamation next week. I think, next I think you should. Okay. I, I, think, I think it's valid. That's very valid. <laughs> so thank you for that. Lots of fun. Great community event. And then I also wanted to put a plug in for an event that we have coming up. I'm going to hold up the poster. Um, this is a live storytelling event that is happening one week from today on July 18th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Coralville Center for the Performing Arts. There will be food uh, and beverages available for purchase at this event, but this is a great way to share your story. Uh, we're encouraging people to come with a five-minute 
story prepared about the city of Coralville. And there are lots of ideas on ways that you can get your story started. You can talk about your favorite memory of the city of Coralville. You can talk about your favorite location in the city of Coralville. But the idea is to get folks sharing these stories with the community. Very fun way to commemorate our sesquicentennial and to just hear and learn more about people's perspectives and the things that brought people to Coralville and the things that people love about Coralville. Would really encourage a lot of people to come to this and tell those stories that we have not heard yet. We've had a lot of really great events about the history of our community, but really want to hear from people that we have not heard from up to this point. So please come to that event. And even if you don't want to share a story, it's a great way to hear stories from other Coralville residents. And that is all I have. A city attorney's report. I have no story. No story? <laughs> come on. You have, have to have stories. stories. Come on. <laughs> you have a, You have decades of stories, I'm guessing. Do it in five minutes. Okay. <laughs> you do get the hook after five minutes. But. That's if I could remember them, you know. <laughs> I think, yeah. I, we, you, I'm sure you have stories, Don. No. <laughs> Kevin. Okay. Committee and council members report. We'll start down at this end with council member Goodrich. Oh, thank you. I just wanted to mention that is in regard to Rag Bride that we still, if you have a yard that you would like to have um, people come in tent, just put up their tents in your yard. Please sign up on the CoralvilleRagBride.com. We still need a few places, so thanks. Yeah, awesome. Council Member Jones. I don't want to repeat, but I do want to uh, echo all that's been said about uh, Fourth Fest. Corville, of course, is known for putting on a good party, and th this year was excellent, I thought, and with the expanded days and everything was great. So. Uh, I just thank everybody involved in that. Uh, I also have a quick story, <laughs> very quick, <laughs> about, five about Mike Funky. I first met Mike Funky when he was in the rec department uh, running some youth programs, and I think he may have coached a couple of my children's teams. And so Mike and I have sort of been friends ever since because of that. And my, uh, uh, my children, uh, a couple of them anyway, have fond memories of Mike. So uh, I thank Mike for all he's done for the city and, and wish him well in his retirement. Thank you. Council Member Wynn. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, I, again, would, don't want to repeat things, but um, just wanted to send my appreciation to everyone who made the Four Festival happen. Um, it was a wonderful celebration, so thank you to all involved. Um, I do want to plug um, the lunch that taking place this Friday at the Corva Food Pantry. Um, the food is going to be provided by 30 hops and we have five trucks coming we have the children museum and also antelope lending library so i encourage um, everyone to come out and eat with us it, you don't have to be 18 and under to eat with us on friday <laughs> because it's sponsored by uh, local businesses so please come on out friday 11 30 to one o'clock thank you okay thank you uh council member gross uh yeah uh, I'll some things do bear repeating. I want to give Mike a huge shout out too. You know, for many years, uh, for 15 years, I was a union negotiator on the uh, other side, and I was always envious of the job that Mike did uh, from this capacity when I would hear how he approached negotiations. So I think it's a real testament to his uh, spirit and demeanor, and I think Corps of employees and the city is better off uh, because of Mike. Uh, second thing, too, I just want to thank all the Fourth Fest uh, volunteers. Uh, to the police department, the fire department for sponsoring and putting on uh, the picnic. I think it's one of the best events that we do each and every year. And then, uh, last, whoop, I'm trying to read my writing here. Lastly, um, I know, and I think just going by on some email that it looks like at the subsequent meeting uh, is where we're going to discuss First Avenue extension yes. speed. I'm not going to be here, so I'd like to get that report sent to me oh, sure. beforehand, just so I can kind of read it over. I'm fortunate I'll be in uh, family vacation on that night, so. Great. You bet. Thanks, Madam Mayor. Appreciate yes. it. And finally, Council Member Knutson. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, echo the thanks. Uh, fourth was an amazing activity, tremendous amount of work and uh, staff 
uh, in this city continue to amaze me and I'm sure everybody. Um, a few things. I have a, a little story to tell about looking for a memorial luncheon place. Uh, we scrambled all over town and then we met Trenton at Brown Deer and met with him, uh, a city-owned facility, and we're all set to go there. Just uh, you just appreciate uh, him accommodating our group and and uh, really is a nice facility that people should take advantage of more uh, and uh, encourage people to do that. Um, at the last work session, we initiated a very kind of somewhat brief conversation about Iowa City's plan to provide um, free uh, busing. And I think many of us, if it were financially feasible, would, would in concept support that. And I just wanted to throw out an idea for to ponder a little bit. I've, I've talked to Council Member um, Wynn about that a little bit. Um, we have talked a little bit about expanding our social services budget. Haven't done that yet uh, at, at some point this year, um, in part because of the um, um, 1.6 million or so uh, increase in our hotel motel tax last year. And I wanted to throw out the idea of using some or all of that if, if, if we decide to do it to provide a targeted approach to free bus passes. The, the food pantry already gives um, free bus passes out to, to those who request, but they have a much higher supply um, or demand than supply. And, and I, I, I think it wouldn't be a reasonable approach to, to see if we can't kind of do a targeted free bus pass through the food pantry and then it wouldn't ha create some of these other issues that might uh, develop over in Iowa City in terms of sustainability and things like, like that that we talked about last time. Um, and at the last thing, um, I don't know if anybody's thought about Rex for storytelling next week, but if, if we, should, we should probably invite him and, and get the room book till about midnight if we do. <laughs> I don't think Rex can keep it under five minutes. <laughs> I know he can. That's all I have. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I think this might be one of the shortest meetings we've ever had. Actually, Madam Mayor, I have one more thing, if oh, I may. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. I just remember that um, where, during the Four Fest, I was out and about, you know, at S.D. Morrison Park and seeing um, a lot of family members and especially young male playing basketball in the tennis court. So there was two basketball hoops set up in the tennis court, and it was wonderful. There's so many people utilizing that court, so I would like to ask all of us if we can, when we build New Park, we should think about putting in basketball court and basketball hoop um, you know, in, in, in public space. I know that we do share those for um, school facility, but that posed a lot of um, limitation because of after school program, because of school ground, things like that. And so moving forward, if we are looking to expand parks um, in our city, I would like for us to consider making basketball court um, a priority. All right. Thank, Thank you. you for that. All right, uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Moved. <laughs> moved by Huynh, could I get a second? Seconded by Knutson. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Our meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>